It's not unusual to get some haze high in the sky over the northeast from distant wildfires, but sites like this right here really are. This photo was taken this morning by a meteorologist at the National Weather Service office in Binghamton, New York. That smoke is coming from fires in northern Quebec. The satellite image from NASA shows where the smoke was earlier this afternoon, and this one shows where the fires started over northern Quebec after a stretch of particularly hot weather last weekend. Now this comes about a month after several large wildfires forced evacuations in Alberta and British Columbia back in May and sent smoke into the the northern U.S. According to fire experts in Canada, April into May is when wildfire season typically ramps up in the central and eastern part of the country. All across Canada and parts of the northern states, as soon as the snow disappears, we call it a spring window. It's easy for fires to start. These are usually human caused fires because the lightning season usually comes a bit later. And while these fires are occurring when they're expected, they are much, much bigger than usual. According to NASA, wildfires in Quebec have burned close to 600 square miles so far this year. In an average year, that burned area is about one square mile. Flanagan says that a combination of a dry winter and a couple of spring heat waves are factors in these larger fires. He added that much like in California, more emphasis is being put on forest and fuel management in Canada's wildlands, including controlled burning to help prevent big fire seasons in the future. This all coming as climate change is leading to warmer and drier spring seasons for the Canadian Plains. Back to you.